What's up guys, Random Racer here with another tech video for you guys today. And today I bring you guys a quick in-depth review of the Kajito Classic smartwatch for the iPhone and Android devices. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, see what we get, try it out, and give you guys my full in-depth review. The Kajito Classic comes in this very nice premium packaging here. The watch can also work for both Android and iOS devices. There's a magnetic flap on the front here, it opens like so. And of course we're introduced with the watch itself. With the seal broken, the top just pops open like so. The watch is encased in this very nice protective foam packaging. A quick start guide here, explaining the functions and the buttons on the watch, as well as a warranty card. Watch does come with a 12 month warranty and a couple more quick start guides here for different languages. Taking a closer look at the design of the Kijito Classic smartwatch, it's the second generation smartwatch to its predecessor, the Cuckoo smartwatch that I reviewed over a year ago. Completely redesigned, the Kijito Classic sports a more striking appearance, thinner design with more added features. Unlike other smartwatches, the Kijito Classic is designed to be an extension of your smartphone rather than a replacement while still retaining the timeless look of a wristwatch. It features two thick silicone black straps that are durable yet soft to the touch for a comfortable fit with a dotted textured finish for added looks. There's also two additional straps to secure the other strap in place as well as a strong brushed metal black clasp to secure it on your wrist. The rear of the watch features a brushed stainless steel back with an easy to open battery compartment. And finally, the face of the watch it features a mineral glass display that's clear and scratch resistant. Surrounding the face is a very nice brushed black steel band with every other hour engraved into it. The sides of the watch features four metal buttons. The bottom two control left and right paging. The top left turns on the Bluetooth and tech function of the watch, while the top right is the command button, along with the dial on the middle right side for adjusting the analog time. Inside the watch you have the hour and minute hands denoted by the bright splashes of white color along with the minute and hour marks which makes viewing the analog time easy in both bright and low light environments. These white splashes also have the ability to glow in the dark. It's a little bit hard to see in the camera but they do glow bright in the dark and also there is a backlight function as a standard. Like its predecessor, the watch features not one but two batteries inside, one to run the analog time and another to run the Bluetooth and basically the tech features of the watch. Unlike other smartwatches which require daily charging, the Kajito Classic lasts for well over a year before requiring a battery replacement. To connect the watch to your phone, ensure you have the connected watch app downloaded to your iPhone or Android device. Next, ensure you have Bluetooth on, hold the power button until the watch turns on, and the watch and your phone should connect automatically. The app itself is very user friendly and easy to use. It gives you the ability, for example, to turn on and off notifications, enable or disable music controls, and other features which I'll demonstrate in this video. The display of the watch has a small digital portion at the top that can display the digital time and date, caller IDs, icons, number of alerts, and information associated with the notification icons. The bottom portion contains six notification icons. We have the incoming and missed call icon, low or critical low battery icon, calendar and reminder alerts, alarms, as well as text and social media apps such as Facebook messages. And for those who are wondering, you can actually demonstrate and demo all these particular notifications on the app itself. For those who are wondering earlier, the page in and page out buttons on the bottom here basically mean you can toggle in between each notifications on the watch here. So you can identify if there's any more information about each one. So here's a quick example of what happens when somebody calls you. So as you guys can see, the watch obviously beeps and vibrates when you receive a phone call, but also displays the caller display as well. In this case, the phone number. Some additional features of the watch is the ability to control music playback, such as pause and play, as well as skip tracks. So let's play some music. Hit the command button on the watch. Pauses it. Hit it again, and it starts playing the music. Pretty convenient and useful feature, especially for those of you who use third-party headphones that don't have a built-in mic or remote on the headphone cord. Another cool feature about the watch is its ability to act as a camera remote for your iPhone. All you have to do is go to the connected watch app, hit the camera icon on the bottom here. You can switch between the front-facing and rear-facing camera, of course. So with the camera function on on the iPhone, just hit the command button on the watch, and it takes a picture. One final feature that I find pretty useful is the out of range alert. 
Bluetooth, of course, has a limited range, and basically, if you walk away far enough, the connection will get weak and drop. Turning on this alert can be useful. For example, if you accidentally left your phone in a classroom and you walk away, your watch will start beeping and vibrating. It could either mean your phone just died or maybe you left it behind. Overall, guys, my first impressions on the Kajito Classic smartwatch is very positive. It's a very nice, high quality looking watch backed with this Bluetooth technology that gives this watch a bit more functionality than your average watch. Although it may seem limited compared to other smartwatches on the market, it's geared towards being an extension of your phone rather than replacing it. For example, reading text messages off a watch probably wouldn't be the most convenient thing to do on such a small display. The notification system built into the watch can be useful, especially for those times when it's not appropriate to take out your phone, for example, having dinner for the girlfriend or being in a classroom. Although you may not be able to identify exactly what your phone is alerting you about all the time, say what email you got, at least you have an idea of what to expect. My most favorite feature about the Kijito smartwatch is how it actually looks like a watch. It's comparable in terms of quality and looks to other main watch brands such as Nixon and Fossil, especially with a retail price of $179 off of Kijito's website. In terms of any cons, the only thing I could say is with any Bluetooth device, having Bluetooth on your phone will impact the battery. In addition, compatibility-wise, the watch uses Bluetooth 4.0 technology which is only available on the latest devices such as the iPhone 4S and up. In conclusion guys, if you're looking for a smartwatch that isn't trying to be something it isn't, you definitely can't go wrong with the Kajito Classic. Modern tech with a timeless design, it's a high quality watch that will not disappoint. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's my quick in-depth review of the Kajito Classic smartwatch for the iPhone and Android devices. As always, I'd like to thank Connected Device for shooting this out for review. Hit that like button, as always, helps me out and I'll see you all next video.